welcome to join us interactive with me Benis Abu Beidou. there's a lot on our plate to discuss today we're talking uh, about the story of that 10 year old boy who passed away at the Tema General Hospital is it a case of medical negligence we don't know we'll be talking about that shortly and then we'll also be talking about private senior high schools calling for inclusion in the free senior high school policy and have you heard of the social media week here yeah, we'll be talking to an organizer and definitely it's a Thursday so we'll bring you our throwback for the day. Let's get us started now. Now you may have heard that sad story of a 10 year old boy who passed away at the Tema General Hospital allegedly from an overdose of painkillers. Now the new twist is the Dental and Medical Council says the family of the boy should file a complaint so they could initiate a probe. Now the question many have asked on social media is if this is necessary at all, this, you know, uh, complaint they should file. Since the issue has become one of huge public concern. What are people saying on social media? Let me just take you right now to Facebook. Ampoma Nanajwa Farida says, this is a disgrace to us as a country, a country where most of our health workers don't value human life and think human death is a very normal thing. Oteyan Pansa Enak says, this issue needs to be investigated with all seriousness. Some doctors are very negligent and irresponsible. They tend to work hard in their private hospitals, but work with lazy attitudes in government hospitals. And he says, my father died eight years ago as a result of wrong prescription of drug and, um, and making him take doses his body couldn't accommodate. Now I'm fatherless, all because of one little mistake of a doctor. Well, I don't think it's a little, it's a big mistake. Says, my condolences to the mother of this boy and the family. Romeo Edward Garrett says, the nurse on duty must be charged. How can you be on duty and sleep? All right, uh, only in Ghana, most of these nurses being trained are either there for money or just to be called a nurse. Fefe Francis says, this must be worrying, but revealing some nurses and doctors never want the job, rather the freebies salary, all right? And uh, there are two replies to his comment there on Facebook. Romeo says, well, it's very true. The love for the job is lost nowadays. And Veronica Bloody says, but as for the term, a general hospital, she sighs and says it's only God. And that seems to be uh, the reaction we're getting from a lot of people because the term, a general hospital seems to have a lot of issues uh, then. The Rafael Senaiba Kukubo says, if you are sick, visiting the hospital, problem. Staying at home to problem. So what do we do now, he asks. And Thomas Nilamte says they need a formal request before they can be begin investigations, he's asking. Says, I'm scandalized. And uh, we'll pick some more. The Ruby answer says, this is so, so, so sad. And... Um, but Dadu Francis says, serious. Kayaga Ada sighs. And Sylvia Pascaline Hubert says, what? This is so terrible. I'm short of words, too. And uh, she says, well, she thinks that some are only there for money. They don't really have passion for the work. Says, to the mother who lost her child, may God comfort and wrap you in his arm. Yaya Imoro says, this is very sad news. And Jenny Paula Hammett says, oh, no, not again. This is very terrible and disheartening. So those were some of your comments there on this very, very, very sad incident. You do stay with us here on Journeys because the interaction will not end here. We'll bring you different angles and twists to the story. And uh, hopefully, hopefully the Dental and Medical Council will initiate a probe. Now, let's move away from that. Heads and proprietors of private senior high schools are demanding an inclusion in government's free senior high school program. Well, at a news conference yesterday, the group accused the government of sidelining them. Now, in a response, a very interesting one, Deputy Education Minister Dr. Yawe Duchum says the free senior high school policy is not meant for private schools and that he even owns a private school and would have worked it out to his advantage. But the point is, free senior high school is not for private schools. But what's your opinion on this? We post that question on our Facebook page. Nasir Hassan says no, because I don't think senior high school affects private school in any way. It's only the rich who send their children to private senior high school. Says when it was even not free, private schools admission fees and semester fees uh, well, were about five to ten times higher than that of government schools. So, you know, he thinks, uh, he doesn't see how free SHS uh, would be affecting private school businesses. <laughs> and says, hashtag, stop worrying Akufuado and his government. Jane Eyre says, private schools should not be included at all. Their structure is different 
and they are worried that they will or losing students due to free SHS if they are as good as they say free education should not deter any parent quality things do not come cheap and Kojo Fodro says I think the government must include the private schools though it's too late for this year I think they must be included from next year Kojo I wish you had given us more reasons to your stance but judicious Odro Eric says absolutely they must be included but I think they need to exercise patience because this is a government policy and it just started uh, the implementation just started so they need to sit down with government and uh, have a dialogue about this issue because this government is in to empower the private institutions and not collapse it and that was you know one of the suggestions of the deputy minister of education Dr. Yao Idutum, he was wondering why uh, these proprietors and heads of private schools didn't come to the ministry to have a conversation, but rather decided to have a press conference over the matter. But Kojo Benny says, their demand is fair from the explanation I had this morning, but also confusing because they claim to be fighting for parents, whereas some parents are claiming to send their wards to private senior high schools for quality education because of the controlled numbers. Bikala Bills Kennedy Bilawai says, um, I think they have a point. The pupils they admit are Ghanaians and the cake has to be shared fairly. It doesn't matter whether it's public or private. Government policy should not be selective. Therefore, the president promised this was for all. Let's be objective in our submissions to enable the country gr grow. God bless the president. You're watching John News Interactive with me, Benis Abubed. We'll take a quick breather. When I come back, we'll be talking about the social media week. Uh, well, it began earlier this week, but we'll be talking about it and what organizers hope to achieve. I've got Abdul uh, Muhammad who will be joining me later in the show. And also our video of the day and definitely a throwback. Today's one will interest you. Please stay with us. Thank you so much for staying here on Joy News Interactive. Now, the Social Media Week uh, program began earlier this week, and the aim of organizers is to discuss how social media and technology are changing businesses, society, and culture around the globe. On Joy News Interactive, we are interested in everything social media. So I've got Abdallah Yusuf Mahmood on Skype, and uh, he's one of the organizers of this program. Hello, Abdullah. Well, there we have him. All right. And uh, how have things been since you began this initiative? Communication business and how we interact as people as people to go back to work or to go back to Rather more and with their and with this, I to learn more and then understand how social media works. So social media week is a global event. It's happened in over 23 countries around the world and for the first time it's now coming to Accra. And for Accra, we say Accra is connected. Accra is connected because we are now bringing the online conversation to the ground. We are bringing aspects from around the world to come share how these social media platforms have evolved and how they are evolving, where they are taking us, and how we can also be part of that change. So that's why we are having Social Media Week for the first time in Ghana. All right, so you tell me uh, briefly what has the response been to this particular program? Because you started on Monday, I guess. Um, yeah, so have you had high patronage? Yeah, so um, for Monday, we had a wonderful lunch with the mayor of Accra, the um, uh, representative from the communications ministry, the CEO of Vodafone, um, who all um, um, spoke to the effect that social media is here to stay. It's changing the way we, uh, we continue to live and our lifestyles. And then from there, we went into the market to also sign up thousand businesses online. We realize that social media is fun and all games for us. 
But then our mothers and fathers in the market who are also starting businesses, they don't have the same advantages. Mm -hmm. So we went into the markets to sign up 1,000 businesses. And then from there, we went to the University of Ghana, where we took students to how their social media presence also has an effect on their career and all that. So on Tuesday, we, we spoke about content. And then on content, we spoke about content people love. We spoke about the power of Twitter. We had other meaningful conversations with Nana Banabwa, mm. Ato Alzunapia, Epo Rain from the U.S., and all right. others. Okay, yeah, so, so Abdallah, sorry I'm running out of time. Briefly, okay. what should people expect uh, for today and tomorrow? And uh, where are you organizing this? And uh, what should they expect? Okay, so the, the whole event is happening at the Accra Mall. You just have to come here, register yourself, find a tag, and then you walk into the, into the session. Today we are having Google Master Classes, we are having business sessions. As of now, we are having SME sessions ongoing. After that, we will have the Google Master Class. And then we also want to put the spotlight on SMEs using social media well. So mm. people like Think Mahogany, the Accra Goods Market, Tatas and Friends, Papa Opo, among others, will also be sharing how they use social media. This far, and then we have big brands like Vodafone and others also sharing how they've changed customer experience through social media. Mm. Tomorrow being the last day, we have a concert, we have a fashion show, and we have how to make money out of your content. So for the content creators, for the musicians, the producers, the filmmakers, you all have to be around. It's right. Big, yeah. Sure. Thank you very much, Abdullah. We sure will thank be there. And uh, if you've missed out on this so far, you don't want to miss today and you don't want to miss tomorrow either because this is a social media week and everything social media will be discussed there. Now, let's do our throwback time now. People who engaged in this particular game, and I'm going to show it to you briefly here on our Facebook page, and that's the game I'm talking about. Now, people who engage in this game are of the view that others who did not, you know, uh, were not privileged and didn't have that opportunity, they clearly did not have a great experience in their childhood at all. Now, tell me who your Thai racing partner was. And I remember, you know, as a little girl, we used to do this on the streets of Akosombo. Uh, but Casinova Demethodman says, uh, well, he thinks that we should be doing something better than this. But hey, uh, it's Thursday. It won't be bad to do a throwback, would it? And um, Judicious Odro Eric says, gone are the days. I quite remember when we use our mother's cloth to cover our neck every blessed morning and take our time to run across the town before we even go to school. And it was seven hours. Uh, our morning keep fit in those days. St. Kobe sighs and says, those days when men were small boys. If you own that thing in your vicinity, are you talking about that, you know, used tire that we used to roll along on the street? You were a king. Those who didn't have would have to beg to take it down the street. And he laughs at his own comment. Richard Saffo would have to scroll up a bit uh, so we can see Richard's comment. He says, ties were not provided in school. Uh, for those who will be in school early in the morning, you can't even afford to be late for school. Nasir Hassan Yayima says it was a very good experience. And he actually tags Hadara and Nasir Nasir. I don't know if those were his partners in that particular game. Isaac in Kansa Pepra uh, is actually tagging Kanka Max Olakwa, Samuel Yao Brifo, and Emil Sin, because those were his partners in that particular game. Sami Riches Kublin says, Enoch, Enoch, Delight, Yao Boyan, and Didi Kamara says, Gostheim Fiagum, and uh, Taylor Wakil Jr., Farouk Jr., and uh, Bernard Kofian says, Actually, I was not a good Thai pusher, so I used to be falling, and as such, uh, it killed my interest in that. Kweku Bento Kweku says, we used them in primary school. If you came to school late, then forget it. So it's actually, you know, a, a sort of motivation. So if you come to school early, then you get to push the tire. If you don't, you don't get to do it. Kojo Finney says, I couldn't even move an inch with that tire. Tena Raphael laughs and says, memories. I always love it when I throw back, gets good comments like these. Prince Nuruddin Baumia says, those days, very interesting. Theophilus Kofinimako says, 
hey, those days, and smiles at his own comment. Lister Well Wilson says, Modestus Commodore, and that's his friend he used to do that with. And Prince Kwabla Mauta says, Fortune made day GH, and that's his friend he used to do that with. You're watching John News Interactive. A quick breather. We'll be right back with more. Thank you for staying here on John News Interactive. It's been a very interesting one today. We've touched on that story involving a 10-year-old who died allegedly from an overdose of painkillers, uh, giving him at the Tema General Hospital. We've also talked about, you know, proprietors and heads of free senior high schools, uh, of senior high schools, I beg your pardon, adding that they should be included in the free senior high school policy. They want government to consider them. You, you shared your views here, and quite a number of you agree that they should be included, but not now possibly in the future we've also you know done a live skype from the accra mall where the social media week program is happening you don't want to miss it if you've already done you have today and tomorrow there's a lot to learn from that particular one and you know here on journeys interactive we are interested in everything social media and before i took the breather i brought you a throwback thursday today we're focusing on that game where you know young people had two sticks rolling a tire down the streets or anywhere in your vicinity and a lot of you shared really great memories with us and tag your partners as well but that'll be all for this edition <laughs>